Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast. If you're using this textbook or a previous version for your class, this YouTube is for you. It's about chapter two, HTML basics. The great thing about this textbook is that they sprinkle little hands-on exercises into the chapter. So you read a little, then do a little, read a little, and do a little. In chapter two, it's especially important that you start the habit of doing these little hands-on exercises. Like my class, at the end of the day, you'll be asked to do a project. There are two ongoing case studies at the end of the chapter of this textbook, one of which is called Pacific Trails, and here you see the code that you're asked to complete. Now, if you've done these little hands-on exercises inside the chapter, you are well positioned to do the project at the end of the chapter. If you rush to the end of the chapter and say, well, I'll go back and review the hands-on exercises as needed, you may get along for a while, but I can guarantee you that this information is cumulative. So the habit of doing the little hands-on exercises before completing the end of chapter exercise is gold. It's a great way to learn. So I'd highly encourage you to not shortcut yourself on that wonderful learning process. Again, I highly recommend that you use indentation to identify first the opening and closing HTML tags. And then also you want to clearly see the head section and the body section. So again, I'm going to go ahead and indent everything inside the head and the body to make sure that I've got those two sections clearly coded. Inside the body then, we have a header section and we have an H1 element and that's slightly indented and that's fine. We have a nav, we have a main. Because the main is the container for all of this information, I'm gonna go ahead and indent that one more layer. And we have a footer. And all of this is inside the footer. So here we have a clearly indented body section with a header, nav, main, and footer sections, which are called the wireframe, the big container elements of this web page. In addition to what you learn in the chapter, I highly recommend that you add indentation. In my classes, I also require the students to go ahead and enter a comment with their name and the current date, just because I want them to learn about comment syntax. There are other ways to document your name and the date using more meta elements here in the head section. But once you know the comment syntax, and it's a bit verbose because it starts with the exclamation point dash dash and ends with dash dash, you can add comments anywhere in the file to remind yourself to ask questions in class, ask questions of your instructor if he or she is looking at your code, or to come back and remind yourself to study something further. I highly recommend that you learn comment syntax at this point in the class as well. Chapter two is critical for your HTML knowledge because it not only reinforces the structural elements that you learned in chapter one that are required on each web page, but it also introduces these wireframe elements as well as the content elements like H1 for heading level one or a anchor tag, which is more commonly called a hyperlink tag or H2 for heading level two or P for paragraph, UL for unordered list, LI for list item. All of those elements and more are explained in chapter two. So take it slow and do the hands-on exercises. Finally, of critical importance in chapter two is HTML syntax validation. Your validator is a great friend because it will help you find coding mistakes. And if you need more information on why we validate and how the validator helps you find any errors in the code, please go over to my YouTube that I devote specifically to HTML validation. Thank you.